let's just go. Let's just go for it. I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> I want to at least find one um, Ultra Beast. At least one, right? I want to at least find one Ultra Beast today. In the short amount of time we have. Let's go. Jellicent, Pangaro, or Swampert? Alright, I'll, I'll go with Swampert, I guess. I guess. Okay, I went with Swampert, so Ice is probably my best bet. For, um, what to do, because Grass is super effective against me, so. I'll, I'll try my hand at Ice. I'm not very effective against Ice, but... We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a Galalee. A big floating head. Humongous floating head. Okay, so these are only effective, sadly. Uh, but we could see how much damage it does, I guess. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I should really start paying attention to, um, what's the next thing coming up so that I could, like, plan ahead. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a little bit. Okay, that was super effective. Oh my god, look how big Swampert is. <laughs> Swampert is huge. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Okay. How come I'm the only one that did damage so far? Didn't everyone else attack? Why am I the only one that did damage? Okay, Pangor used coaching. I don't really need coaching, but I mean... It won't hurt, I guess? I guess it can't hurt? But it'd be more helpful if they actually attack the enemy. Trick room. So that... That switches his what's it called? That's that lowers his speed or something like that. If I remember from the anime, Trick Room was this crazy technique that like slowed down the opponent inside of it. I can't really explain. <laughs> can't really explain it. Uh, you guys, give me one moment. Wow, I came back right on time to see Galele just explode. See, that's what we needed, Pangaro. We needed you to just use those fighting type attacks. Instead of leaving it to me. Okay, um, ooh, Crunch, Ice Fang, those are pretty good attacks. I mean, I already have an Ice-type attack, so I guess I'll, I'll go without it. I guess. Flying or Poison, yeah, um, Ice is super effective against Flying, so let's go there. A Backpacker. Okay. Let's see. 
Um, raises speed sharply when a Pokemon misses with a move. Boost defense on grassy terrain. Okay. Quick Claw. Sure. I think that's used to evolve Sneasel. <laughs> Isn't that used to evolve Sneasel? Probably. I had no idea that it could actually be used as an item. I had no idea that it could actually be used as an item. I legit thought it was only an evolution item. Alright. Since Skarmory is steel, does that mean my ice is only effective? Like, it's supposed to be super effective, right? But I think since it's a steel type, it... I guess ice is not very effective against steel, so it only, like, cancels it out. Okay. I was not planning on that. Not planning it. At all. Future Sight. Oh, Skarm... No, never mind. I was gonna be like, wait, Skarmory is using it? That didn't happen. Alright. Okay, that was decent. Weak armor. He has some weak armor, so it lowers his defense, apparently. But it, ri it raises its speed. That's weird. Alright. Okay, that was pretty good. That one lowers your defense as well. And your lo your defense gets lowered again. And your speed won't go any higher. There it is. Why didn't you use that in the first place? <laughs> Why didn't you just use that to begin with? Skarmory was caught. Good. Um, okay, you have Steel Wing, Fly, Excisor, Assurance. I think I'm gonna actually swap. I completely forgot to check ahead. Okay, hold on. Let's do that now. I, I legit forgot to check ahead. So what I wanted to do was look up, right? But I guess the boss is next, so... Wait, Psychic? You know what? I have no idea. So, like, what I want to check is what the next opponent is so that I could plan for it in this opponent. You get me? I don't think Bug is good against Psychic, but we'll see. Okay, what the heck is that? Um... What the heck is that Dynamax form? What is this telling us? <sighs> what the heck is that? It's a UFO. Wait, Orb Beetle is a UFO. Is that what it's saying? This beetle is a UFO? What is up with this <laughs> Dynamax form? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> they legit turned an actual bug into a UFO. A spaceship. They turned it into a spaceship. Why? I mean, I guess it kind of does look like a UFO, right? If you actually picture its actual form. It, I mean, it kind of looks like a UFO. So then, hey, why the heck not turn it into a UFO for Dynamax? <laughs> My god, that's so ridiculous. Why the heck is it a UFO? I'm still, like, stuck on that. 
I should not be a UFO. Like, they legit... Oh my god, like, you can see its feet. You see its feet, right? They're like right below its head. So, I mean... If the light in the center of it was not, you know, like, zapping aliens up, or, I mean, down. <laughs> if they didn't have the UFO light, then you would see it more as being a bug. But since they made it have that light, like a UFO. Since they made it have that light. Then it just, it just changes the Pokemon. It legit changes the Pokemon. Like, you see its feet. So, like, basically, it's... Oh, I don't want you, Mesprit. <laughs> I really don't. Um, so, like, you can see the bug portion of this bug is um, in the front of the Dynamax creature, right? And then its back, its back is like a big hump. Which is the UFO spaceship. And then you have the lights that really just seal the deal that they turned it into a UFO. They turned it into a UFO. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> That's the best but yet worst Dynamax form I've ever seen. I'm just still stuck on it. <laughs> what do you guys think about that UFO? You guys can let me know on YouTube. <laughs> That's a UFO. Why would they why would they turn it into that? Like legit look up or beetle. Not Dynamax form. And it's literally just a ladybug. It's literally just a bug. I think it's a ladybug, but, I, you know, it's literally just a bug. <sighs> but come Dynamax form, it literally gets an alien light laser thing. And <laughs> the light's flickering. Is it supposed to be a firefly? If so, then that makes more sense. But it looks nothing like a firefly. This battle's like already almost done and I'm still talking about this ore beetle. It's called an ore beetle, not an or UFO. Or space. It's not an ore spaceship. All right. Anyways, uh let's go ahead and get this mess bit. I don't think I have this um Pokémon yet. So, we're going to try to get this Pokémon. I think I have Oopsie. I don't think I have Mesprit or Azelf. Well, that was pretty good. Therefore, I could go ahead and defeat it, right? Yeah, definitely. My move will definitely do that much damage. Oh my god, what? Okay. Um, I underestimated this Mesprit. Okay. I thought I would defeat it, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm just like, I didn't. Um, okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. O okay, then. Can we just talk about that spaceship, though? <laughs> I just don't want to stop talking about it. Why, Pokemon? Why did you do that to it? It's a helpless ladybug. What is or beetle? Is this supposed to be a ladybug? Or just a beetle? I don't know, because it looks like a ladybug to me. But then in Dynamax form, it becomes a spaceship. <laughs> Alright. I'm done talking about it. Let's move on. Go to my box. Alright, so that was not what I wanted to find. I want to find a Ultra Beast, but we could try again.
Okay. Uh, Matang is pretty good. Aromatherapy? Remember how I was wanting to look for those kinds of moves that heal? I think Aromatherapy heals, right? Someone take Rabambi. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just like, I didn't want it, but I wanted someone else to have it. Because doesn't ro Aromatherapy heal? Like, the healing moves are really good to have in these battles. It's another Psychic. Okay. No fair. Um... Oh god, I forgot my moves. I completely forgot about my moves. Okay. Uh, well, one thing I do know is Matang is weak against fighting, so... Alright. So, I looked ahead, and after this one is Poison and Dark. So... Yeah. After this one is Poison and Dark. So if I have, like... A Psychic-type move? No. A fighting type move, which I think Digger Diggersby has. Then that could handle the dark. Let's see. Um, okay. Sure, I'll go ahead and do this. Show me your moves, Diggersby. Cause I think Diggersby is like part fighting. I don't think it's considered a fighting type, but I think it fights, like, a lot. I think that's just its thing. So if it has a fighting type move, it will definitely come in handy. Baby doll eyes. Okay, lower its attack. Sure. Substitute. Oh my god. No, don't put in a substitute. Fake tears. So we lowered his attack and his special defense. Okay. Look, the substitute was a waste. Legit. Like, it really only works if, you know, it could survive a full attack from the opponent. But, I mean, I guess it didn't take as much damage as it should have. Dude, what are you doing up there? Oh my god. Uh, you guys can't see this right now, but um, Missy is at the top of my closet, which is probably like 10 feet tall. Right? If I stand next to it, it's probably like twice my size. Slightly less. It's probably like 8 feet high. She's probably like 6 feet high. On the top of my closet, laying down on all my squishmallows, and I literally just saw her right now because she's trying to get down. She's hesitating because it's too low. I mean, it's too high. She's too high to jump down. <laughs> there you are, dude. I keep telling you to not go up there. Like literally, she's getting all her fur all over my squishmallows. But she just started to move, and I'm just like, how, wh why, why would you do that? Why would she jump up there? It's what cats do. I don't know how to restrict that area, because she really likes jumping up there. And I don't want her to be up there. Okay, there you go. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to Diggersby if it had a fighting type attack. So, we'll catch it anyways. Just to check. Uh, no you don't. You only have rocking ground. Okay. It was poison or dark, right? Okay. Well, um, this is going to be a vile plume. And I don't know what's in the dark shadow, but 
I don't even know. Okay, let's look ahead. I could choose from water, dark, or ground. Water, dark, or ground. Okay, so if I keep my Matang, I could use electric type moves on water. So I think that's my plan. Alright, Battle Plume. Grass poison, I think. I think it's a grass poison. Um, ooh. Yeah, this is super effective, I guess, against poison. Which I completely forgot <laughs> that that was a thing. Completely forgot. What's with all the critical hits? Boom. Keep it going. Fake tears. Sure. What does that do? Lower the defense? Yeah. Special defense. Slash. There you go. About halfway there. That was pretty good. Pollen puff. Oh, you're using pollen puff. Okay. Okay. Well, we're Bombi could use Pollen Puff too, so watch out. This Pollen Puff is really good. Oh, yeah, and that move heals. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, we're Bombi is awesome in these battles. I completely forgot that that move actually um, heals if you throw it to an ally. And it hurts if you throw it at the opponent. That's such a cool move. Okay, that was pretty good. We need just a couple of more attacks. A couple more hits. No. Don't do that to me, game. We're, like, right there. I'm not going for it. We're legit, like, right there, though. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Matang. And I think I'm gonna head for the water type. Okay, who is this? A backpacker. Okay. Oh, Citrus Berry is good. The holder's HP is slowly but steadily restored, uh, restored throughout every battle. This light, sharp claw lets the bear move first. Okay, I'm just going with Citrus. It's, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Citrus Berry is the best kind of berry. In the Pokemon world. Alright, it's a Seedra. Alright, Seedra, bring it. I got this Thunder Punch. Attack fell. Fake tears. They really like doing this at the beginning of the battle. I guess it's just like preparing for the actual attacks. Max Warm Wind. That looks terrible. Grassy Terrain. Okay, so we're gonna get healed. I don't know if Seedra also gets healed. There you go. Thunder Punch for you. Ooh, and para uh, paralysis. That is pretty good. On the first thunder punch, too. Oh, Cedra does get healed. Dang it! What's the point of grassy terrain if it just heals everyone <laughs> on the on the board? Called it a board. If it just heals everyone in the battle. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. That was too powerful. That was really good. That was really fast. Alright. The faster the better. I'm okay with fast. Psychic. I don't have this tapu yet, right? Do I have any tapu? Actually, I don't think I do. Have I ever come across this one? No, right? No, I don't think I have. I've come across Tapu Fini, Tapu Bulu, and now Tapu Lele. Okay. Um, okay, Meteor Mash is super effective. So, I'm glad I stuck with Mateng. Charm. What does that do? It lowers Rabombi's attack harshly. Okay, that's not good. Use all your super effective attacks. Bioplume, you also have Pollen Puff? Oh yeah, you do, huh? I completely forgot about that. Alright. Um, yeah, let's Dynamax. Sure. Go ahead and use Max Steel Spike. Boom. Ultimate Matang. This is the ultimate Matang. Palm Puff. Okay, well, that is pretty good. That, that is really good. Magic Room. Created a bizarre area. I didn't even read what that said. What's Magic Room? Boom. Nice. One more of those and you're a goner. Getting desperate. Okay. Come on. Someone attack her and then I'll just finish it. Or you could do that. Someone use Pollen Puff again on her and then we're, we're out of here. Max Mindstorm. Ooh, that defeated you. And then the battlefield got weird. Okay. I never know what that means, but okay. The storm is growing stronger. Psy shock. That defeated you. Oh my god. Okay, so it's up to me. It's cool, you guys. It's cool. I got it right here. I got it right here. Oh my god, that was close. Look at that little tiny, that little tiny bit right there. Why does the game do this to us? Why does it do that to us? Alright, yeah, let's get Tapu Lele. I've been getting really lucky with these battles. I'm not supposed to win them back to back. Because <laughs> that never happens. Nice. I got one of the Tapus. I still have not come across Tapu Coco yet, though, but maybe one day. Maybe one day I will. I'm going to take Tapu Lele. Thank you. Let's hop into another Dynamax adventure. Another Adventor.
as p and &E would say. A Dynamax Adventure. Alright, we're gonna look for anything. Okay. Uh, Tyrantrum, pretty good. This one has Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Blizzard. This one has Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Fire Punch. And Power Up Punch. <laughs> A lot of punches. I like that. The punches are like really good attacks, so. Wow, so a wide variety. It has all the punches. Ground type. Okay. If I'm thinking about Ultra Beast, I have no idea what it could be. Alright. Let's see. Uh, if I choose Electric, I go to Steel, Dark, or Dragon. So I'm going to choose Psychic. <laughs> Steel or ground is next, so I think I'll stick with Hit Bunchan to uh, handle the uh, steel or ground. Oh wait, this is an ice type. It's an ice psychic. Okay. Um. Yeah, fire punch. Let's do it. Max flare. Good job, good job. You are like more, you are like bigger than Mr. Mime. Oh my god, of course you're gonna use that on me. Um, yep, that was not good. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. The battlefield got weird. Superpower. Okay, that was pretty good. Max Flare. Boom. Halfway. And it got harsh. So then I got harsh. Okay. Rock is really good. It lowered your speed. Will-O-Wisp. I don't know what good that will do, but okay. Superpower. It lowers your attack and defense. Max Lily, there you go. Before it could attack again. Because it totally would have killed me. <laughs> right then and there. Nice. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stick with Hitmonchan. But I'll catch this one just because I don't know if it's in my Pokedex yet. So... I'll catch it. In case I don't get the legendary, I could keep the Mr. Mime. Alright. Steel. Or ground. Steel or ground. I'm going steel. Oh, and I didn't check what's ahead of us. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oops. Oh, it's so cute. I completely forgot Toga Demara was a steel type. So adorable. Hello, bankrupt Batman. How you doing? And, um, I have no idea what legendary I'm getting. You can't tell from the, the little flyby. So I have no idea. I know it's gonna be a... Actually, I forget what type it's gonna be. But yeah, I don't know what type. I don't know what Pokemon it is. Alright. Togedemaru. 
Will-O-Wisp. Okay, what good will that do? Oh my god. That was terrible. Lowers your speed, okay. Um, okay, let's go with another fire punch. Sound good? Oh, nice. Oh, but it still attacks all of us. <laughs> I, d I just thought it doesn't affect, you know, the Pokemon. But then it still attacked all of us. I didn't know Electro Web did that. It's cool. It's fine. Okay. Um, let's go with a power-up punch. See if I could get more damage done. Iron Head? Why do you turn around to do that? Did you guys notice that? It's called Iron Head, but it turns around and then attacks us with its spikes. The game? <laughs> Pokemon? You needed to think of something better than that. <laughs> it can't attack with the spikes if it's Iron Head. It really can't. It just doesn't make any sense. Alright. What's coming up will come up. Please don't kill me. Please. Not yet. I want to fight you first. I just want to hit you once. Just let me attack you once, Toga, tomorrow before you defeat me. Okay, everyone's doing their own attacks. There you go. Max Flare. I almost died, so. Oh yeah, it is all head, huh? In its defense, it's all head. Totally. So, I mean... I guess technically the Iron Head was an Iron Head if it uses its back. <laughs> it doesn't have a body. Alright, I think I'm going to switch to Toka tomorrow. Just because I'm going to die in a bit. So, uh, yeah. And it has some pretty good moves. Electro Whip. Poison Jab. Those are the good moves. Okay. Um, oh yeah, ground normal. Well, it's a no-brainer where to go. Gotta take the normal path. Because I'm electric. It's electric. Munchlax. Okay. Uh... Let's first try an electro web, I guess. That was terrible. Um, let's not do that again. Cause that was terrible. Um, okay, it's burned. And I was just about to paralyze it too. Does it n num um nuzzle? Doesn't it isn't it a guaranteed paralysis? But I did not think of that until now. Alright. Poison Jab. Go. Because I think when it's burned, it can't get another status condition. I think it's just impossible. Poison Jab. Does the most damage right now. Nice. 
Oh, and Togedemaru also shoots the poison jab out of its back as well. <laughs> it shoots the poison jab out of its back. Like, how could it jab if it uses its spikes? <laughs> These are things to think about. They should have done some sort of other thing with Togedemaru. Instead of making it use its spikes for all of its attacks. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to catch you. Oh, you do have some pretty good moves, though. Oh, shoot, it's ground. Um, that's a problem. I don't know. You know what? I don't even know. Like, I don't know what these stuff do by memory. <laughs> so I just have to read all the descriptions. And the timer starts ticking down, and then I get scared. Oh my god. Okay, that's one Pokemon I do not have yet. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you guys see that? I'm in a tough spot right now. Yeah, Dynamax um, battles could be kind of confusing at times. Like, it took me a long time just to figure out that we have lives. <laughs> Literally, it took so long to figure out that we have lives in this game. A set amount of lives for each turn. Yeah, I can tell. Zygarde is totally hard thousand okay um you try to catch Zygarde for a week or two it's crazy well I'm not gonna try that long it's just if we catch it this time then sure but the reason I'm doing this is for Ultra Beast, so I don't really care if I lose right now. Which is probably gonna happen. Okay. Hey, we're getting him to like half health. <laughs> we're almost there. Alright, Toga tomorrow. If I nuzzle him, could I at least get paralyzed? Or will it just say it has no effect? Probably will just say it has no effect. Alright. Hey, I just noticed that Togedemaru's cheeks are outlets. I'm so random at times. But I literally just noticed that they're actual, like, outlets. Whenever it Dynamaxed, you could see, like, lines on it. Like, you know, you're supposed to plug something into it, have it be an outlet. But I guess during the battle, you just don't see it until you Dynamax? It's confusing. Okay. Sure. Why not? It doesn't do much, but okay. Burn it. Burn it. Power construct. What are you doing? 
I've never seen this before. Okay, I'm done with this game. Goodbye. Okay, uh, Batman, I am now starting to see why you say this one is so hard to defeat. Wow, that's tough. It, it heals itself when it transforms. I didn't know it transforms during the battle. What the heck is going on here? I could see why you said this one is tough. Like, if you don't have a super effective move against it, it's not doable. I've legit never seen it transform before, like in any of the games since Zygarde came out to the Pokemon world. That was honestly a pretty cool transformation. But, uh... Yeah... No. I don't like this Pokemon. I mean, it'd be cool if it could be on my side. I probably won't ever use it in battle, but it'd be cool to have. I don't know why I'm using poison jab. I'm just I'm just using that. I'm just done with this battle. Someone die. Just someone someone die. And please make sure it's not me. I don't want to be the one who dies. Oh my god, I'm the one who died. <laughs> just as I was saying. Please don't have it be me. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, world. I'm done. Um, Toga tomorrow is really cute. So I'll go with you. <laughs> Just because it's, re it's really cute. Okay. Um, that was a bummer. I think I'm going to go ahead and hop into one more Dynamax adventure. I think one more Dynamax adventure. And, uh, we'll go with that. We'll end things after one more. Please be an Ultra Beast. Sure. Okay. Blizzard, Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic, Green Dutch, Air Slash, Flash Cannon. Okay. Psychic, Air Slash, Flash Cannon. See, part of my problem here with these things is I don't remember what moves I have. <laughs> so I can't deal with this stuff. Um, okay. Air slash flash cannon. Ice? I don't even know. Air slash flash cannon. Okay, I'm going ice. This is a uh, bear tick. It is huge. Why didn't they give Bear Tick a new Dynamax form? It looks like it could totally use one. Totally, right? They could totally do something with Bear Tick. Even if it's a little thing, like with uh, with Pikachu's Dynamax or Gigantamax form, his tail just grows. That's literally all they changed. They could have totally done something with Bear Tick. Uh, 
yes, you are correct. Bankrupt Batman. I do have all of the um, legendaries. I got all of them. So, um, if you... Well, you probably are just new here. But uh, the last few streams, I've been finding Ultra Beasts. And I have 6 out of 12. So, I'm on my way. I'm halfway there. 6 out of 12. But yeah, I have all the legendaries already. I have like all of the Reggies in my party at this moment. Just because I've never switched them out yet. Okay, halfway there. Living on a prayer. Okay, using Solar Beam. You're charging up. I use Max Steel Spike. It does a lot of damage. Yada, yada, yada. Are you trying to get Ultra Beast? Batman? Is that your current mission? Hey, what is the best Ultra Beast? Which one is like the fan favorite? Now that I'm thinking about it. Because mine is the disco ball. <laughs> Just because it's a disco ball. It has so many colors. And I love it. Blacephalon. And it's a fire ghost too, which is really amazing. Um, okay. Over here we have a tentacruel. Over here we got, I don't know. I think I'm going dark. And there's also berries too that we could heal with. So. Let's go. Oh my god, it's my Absol. Oh my god, Absol's so cool. I love Absol. Absol's so cool. I'm trying to get every legendary in the caves first. Caves. What kind of caves? What kind of caves? We've got most of the Gen 2 legends. Cool, cool, cool. And many more. Yeah, totally. I honestly was not expecting to find so many legendary Pokemon in this game. But it happened. And legit, I'm not going to use any of these Pokemon. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, I get to catch them, so it's really cool. You avoid my attack! Well, how dare you? Oh, wait, hold on. I have a Sigilyph. Wait. Okay. Um, I'm glad Absol did not use that on me. Because I would have been a goner. <laughs> I have a Sigilyph and I went into a dark fight? Wow, that was a mistake. But I'm glad I didn't die, I guess. Because if you guys don't know, Dark is super effective against Sigilyph, so. I'm glad he did not attack me. I don't know why he didn't attack me, but. Hey, I got an Absol. I really like Absol. Especially Mega Evolution Absol. It's the best Absol. Out of the two, it's the best Absol. Um, okay, Fire Blast, Night Slash, those are pretty good. Sure, let's swap. I mainly just like all the Pokemon that, um... Oh, hey, two ghosts. This is a huge ghost. Is that Jellicent? Probably, right? Yeah, um... So, I like... 
Absol Flygon Roselia Rosejade. <laughs> if you guys know where I'm going with this, then good on you. Um, Masquerade. God, I hate myself now. How do I not remember his Pokemon? He's got another one, right? Butterfree? I mean, Butterfree is eh. <laughs> but still. I, I just like all those random Pokemon. Because they were the um, Pokemon of Drew from the anime. And I really like his character for some reason. Uh, Bankrupt Batman, thank you so much for that follow. And yeah, I'll see you later. Thanks so much for hanging out. Absol, Flygon, Roselia, Roserade, Rose Masquerade, Butterfree. Did I miss one? I feel like I'm missing one. Absol, Flygon, Butterfree, Roselia, Roserade. Masquerade. I feel like I'm missing one. Okay, I need to look this up now. I He's like my favorite Pokemon character. And <laughs> if I don't memorize all his Pokemon, I'm going to regret even streaming this. <laughs> today. Um, okay, let's see. Thanks so much, Bankrupt Batman. Hopefully I could find these Ultra Beasts soon. Because I really just want to get done with the Crown Tundra. So I could actually, um, start completing the Pokedex, which I have not done yet. Alright, let's see. Drew Pokemon. Okay, I got this, I got this. So, Masquerade, Flygon, Absol, Butterfree. Roselia and Roserade. That's it, right? Even though I have it pulled up right in front of me, they don't even have Roselia. Oh, never mind, they do. <laughs> never mind, they do. I was going to say, they don't even have it on the list, and it's like the main one. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I just love all this Pokemon. <gasps> oh my god, here it is. I... Did not know he was a bug. I mean, I guess obviously he looks like a bug. I completely forgot he was on the list that I needed. Oh my god, okay. And I have a fire blast. Look at that. Hopefully it does a lot of damage, though. My god, he looks so... So... Tough. Taunt? Why the heck did you use taunt? Whatever, it's fine. I'm okay with that. I like how he came just as um, bankrupt Batman was wishing me luck in the in the chat for finding these ultra beasts. He he came right in there. I literally only thought there was only one bug ultra beast, but I guess there's two, or maybe more. I don't know. What kind of bug is he? Because, like, he's super buff, which I guess, you know, no bugs are buff. But his wings kind of look like that of a moths? Or a cockroach? I don't know, I'm just naming bugs now. What kind of wings are those? Oh my god, that was big. Did you just destroy it? The Heliolisk? I think so. 
Yeah. Okay. I think we have two more lives. And you have a beast boost? Okay. What was that? Okay, I don't know. Someone just knocked on the door. I think it was a cat, but yeah, I'm not sure. Because it was like really slow. It was like dun 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 dun. And when my cat knocks on the door, he goes <laughs> he goes dun 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 dun. I don't know. It was really weird. Um anyways, I just need one more attack on Buzzwall. That was terrible, Mimikyu. Don't ever do that again. Okay. Come on. Burn it, Absol. Burn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you seriously kidding me right now? Um. Can someone attack it? Thanks. <laughs> that literally scared me so much. For me to just die there? When I was... It, it was so close. If we lost, I would have left the room. I would have just fled. Just goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Alright, anyways. This is Ultra Beast 7 of 12. So... We are well on our way to getting all these Ultra Beasts. 7 of 12. So, if, at the top of my head, the ones I still need are Kartana, uh, Naga Nadel, I just remembered its name, Naga Nadel, the evolution of Poiple, Necrozma, oh my god, hold on, Buzzwell has four legs? Okay, I'm learning new things about their, dis their descriptions. <laughs> I literally did not know Buzzwell had four legs. Okay, anyways. Um, Necrozma, Kartana, Naganadel, Nihiligo, and I forget the other ones. I think there's only one more I'm missing. Anyways. Um, that is Ultra Beast number seven. Super exciting about that. Yeah.